Thank you, Presiding Officer, and can I thank the Cabinet Secretary for advance sight of her statement. I am becoming increasingly annoyed by this government and its inability to legislate. It has been 834 days since the UNCRC bill was passed in this Parliament, 630 days since the Supreme Court ruled in favour of the UK Government's challenge of the bill. That's 630 days for this Government to decide whether or not to write a letter to the UK Government about the UNCRC bill. No wonder nothing gets done in this place. Instead of making the necessary changes to this bill, the SNP have deliberately provoked grievance, have continued to politicise children rights, have played constitutional games and have prioritised a debate on independence this afternoon. However, presiding officer, they have been found out. If this government really cared about children's rights, work would have progressed by now. If this was really about young people, MSPs would have something to scrutinise today. But it appears that the Scottish Government has done nothing. We still don't know when this bill will come back to Parliament. What on earth has this Government been doing? So can I ask the Cabinet Secretary, why didn't the Scottish Government do its homework before bringing the bill before Parliament? And when will this bill be finally brought back to this chamber? Cabinet Secretary. So I'm presuming from some of that questioning that Menigan Gallagher doesn't understand the reconsideration process and the part that I said in the opening statement that it must go through the parliamentary authorities step and I'm not in charge of that part Megan Gallagher so in, part, in, in the response to the part that I am in, responsible for we are absolutely determined to bring this back eh, to the chamber at the earliest opportunity after the summer recess once it is passed through the parliamentary authorities the timetable of which I can cannot fix. Now, when it comes to how we will then move forward with this, I do hope we will see progress and the ability to have this bill worked through before Christmas. But again, the parliamentary process and its timetable is not something for me. And I am becoming increasingly annoyed, presiding officer, about our inability to protect children's rights within this parliament. That's what annoys me about this process. And the reason that we have taken time to look at this is to see how we can have the maximum protection possible for our children and young people. Now, I appreciate that the statement in parts was quite technical, but I hope what this showed was the ability for us to able to protect, well, people find it funny that we're trying to protect children's rights. I, I'm sorry that Stephen Kerr thinks it's funny that we've been working to protect children's rights within this parliament. But what we have been doing, and what I laid out in the statement, was how, unfortunately, we have had to take out children's rights from we, what, what we had within the bill to ensure that we are within our legislative competence and we respect the Supreme Court judgment, which, of course, we do.